Hello, this is Katie, and this is the third Valentine's card from uh, the card class that I did. So if I do more for Valentine's Day, I'll have to come up with more ideas. And so um, we'll put this one together. I have a four and a quarter by five and a half craft colored. I think this is the craft paper from Paper Trink, which is uh, the easiest for me to buy in bulk, but I like it a lot, so that works for me. And then I have, I used a different design in class, but actually ran out of that pattern paper. Um, it had pink and red um, hearts all over it, which I thought was really cute too. But either one of them works. Um, this paper is from Pebbles. It's the Be Mine paper. That's one side of it. And then this is the striped side. So... I got a lot of 12 by 12s at the craft store. So we'll stick this one down here with the tape runner with the stripe side up. I love a lot of people in class who will use the other side if they like it better or whatever. I think this one was just kind of a little busy. That would probably look kind of cute on the card too, but we'll go with the simple stripes. Set that over there. And for this, I usually start in the top left corner and make sure that's covered there. And you want to make sure you have the whole top. So I usually line it at this corner and down the side. And then just it's usually good for the rest. And I did cut that a little bigger because I want to make sure it covered it. So you can always flip it over and trim it off from the back. You can run your scissors along the brown paper as kind of a guide. So that helps. And then for this piece, this is about half an inch. It might be a little bit bigger than that um, by four and a quarter. So that covers across. And for this one, I just butted it up against the paper so I didn't overlap it. I didn't want there to be any, um, you know, bump behind it or anything like that. So I want to make sure the glue goes to the edge this out of the way. I'll zoom in a little bit for this one. Hopefully that works. So starting here on the edge, just running it up against that paper so it's not overlapping it. You might be able to see a very, very thin line in there. And I don't need to trim that, so that piece is good. And then this part, the stamp, I think this one's also from the Stampin' Up! Valentine's set. Um, but it just says happy Valentine's day. I think that focused. Okay. So we'll stamp that part first and then we'll do the rest. That will be kind of the embellishment on the card. And we want to stamp that. I think that one's kind of straight. I might tilt it a little bit. Kind of down towards the bottom, but here is good. Okay. All right. <clears throat> So then for the piece that's going on top, I need a circle about this big. So I'll run this through the die cut machine. That's just from the Stampin' Up! Circle Framelit set. Um, I'm not sure which size that is. I just got one that looked good next to the heart that I'm pairing it with. That's the only die cut that we'll need. Okay, so we've got this. And then the heart... Um, I knew I had this heart and I wanted that design. So what I did instead, and I'll put this over that, is I took pink. I have angel pink from Memento and just covered this heart. And I have a Fiskars punch. I'll show you after I stamp this. I just made sure I covered the whole heart with this one. So the design covers the smaller heart and that'll probably just fall right off so then I have that design in pink on the smaller piece and that's just the back of some glitter paper so that won't be seen anyway the heart I punched out from this punch I've had for a long time one of these big Fisker handle punches um, that I probably picked up at Joann's I think and then 
I'm going to put foam tape on the back of the circle. So I have my foam tape roll here. And grab my scissors so I can trim it. I want to make sure the circle has enough support as well. Should be good. And then on top of the circle, I'm going to raise up the heart as well. This actually doesn't make it that tall, surprisingly, to me. Um, so if you wanted to like stick it in the mail or something, I'm going to make sure that's not shown on there. Um, then it wouldn't be too puffy in an envelope. So we'll take these off and then center the heart in the circle there. And then also, if you want, I have gems and we'll stick that on the heart to give it a little something extra. And then peel off the back of the circle. So we've kind of made our own little embellishment piece and then that just goes directly above the Happy Valentine's Day, kind of centered above it. And then you just press that in the right spots and there you go. So we've got kind of double raised. You can see the um, circles raised, the hearts raised, and then we have our gem on top. And those colors look pretty good together. I think the other, the other background I had had a red that was closer to this, so this red here is a little brighter, but that is okay. Um, so that is the third Valentine's card. Hopefully there will be more if I come up with them and film them. And thank you for watching. Bye.